X point down, X point over, or my middle guard, either hand, okay? Or I'm gonna be here, you need to see shield guys when you do this. <laughs> you know why? Because the first cut is gonna make them feel their head in their throat. When I go boom, and I get out of range, and they block it. Because they'll probably block it. But then, they, then the weapon turns into, in your opponent's mind, ooh, that's kind of a real weapon. Holy crap. You know, I, I, gotta, I gotta fear that weapon. And I'm okay with that, because I'm not hitting too hard. But that's part of the whole thing that I can do with this act, but I can't do with that pull A lot more intimidation. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, the starting kata for a strike has got to be circle slight up. See how that bottom hand? This hand's not moving, it's a Yeah, this is, see that? See that cut? Okay, so if I come up to hit him in the head, it's here, and as I pull, I turn my body. So it's there. Okay, you like that? Here, there, and then this hand pushes forward, disengage it away from the shield, the or whatever pushes it in here, even if I'm close, that's what's controlling that movement. His body turn and his bottom hand, and then cut. So basically... Yeah, that's really all, and that's key, otherwise you're just stuck. Yeah, yeah, otherwise you're just stuck. If you're trying to use your hands... <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, then you're in good. Then you're not doing this. Then it's not a fight anymore. Fight anymore. Yeah. So... <clears throat> well... So, you guys saw the difference. The other thing that's important here, and by the way, they don't have to weigh this much to protect as good as these. Some of the guys are making spring steel hard and blah, blah, blah. But what's really important is it has enough protection, a little bit of padding in there. And I like and demand for my thumb the under thumb position. Yeah. Yeah. As opposed to the over thumb. This, this one is inherently much more danger of being crushed, even if it blocks. Well, even if it blocks. Yeah. Right? Cause, yeah, because your thumb is the pet. This has that steel in between it, a couple layers. Okay? So. Now, with your guard, so that your center line is protected. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't push out. You can chuck it in and you're going to be yep. Okay. So you got to just step in. So it's raining. And then push your hand forward. Right? Think about that little circle. And then break out. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yep. You're pushing with the top hand. Pull with the bottom. Or you, you, yeah, there you go. Now, use your hips. Oh, yeah. and the hips. See the power? And he's not trying to hit me hard. We're not in armor, right? He just, he's just using his full body movement. To, so so it's, it's here, strike, pow. So when it hits that shield, and it kind of bags him up a little bit, then, yeah, then you finish in here. So when you're using a pull arm, and invariably, the sword and shield guy has, for whatever reason, chased you down because you got tired or he caught you on a timing thing. You were getting ready to swing and he's like, Anya, okay? So he swings and he's close, right? So I choke up, right? Normally I'm yep. right here, right? Trying to do these kind of thing. He's closer, he choked up, up on the weapon. Okay, strike here, strike here. You do this. Right here. Okay, he backs up. Right here, right here. Okay, and add the thrust. But this long weapon, you're gonna be a pal, just hold it. <laughs> this long weapon, right? So I come in here, pretend that he comes up. Okay, and this is that long. But you have to practice controlling what this is doing. If I try to do it without turning, Right? I've got to turn my body to void that weapon too. And to put that inside power on it. Alright? The next thing is 
how to get the range. Oh, and by the way, there's all kinds of different things. There's, you watch it for my eyes, you do Here, and this hasn't worked. I'm gonna pull it back here. Maybe I even just blocked it on the, the axe head. Right? There you go, it's the sword, so it skips off. Okay. Back so in. this pulls, the bottom pulls as I rotate, and it strikes him right in the shoulder. It's a kill with an axe. In the head. Okay? So again, inside. Or I can be here. Or that spike. Right? I can here, rotate it here, you come in here, same thing. See? See the manipulation of that action? Here, right, inside cut. Okay. Middle step, pulls it away. Bang, okay. here, rotate here, here, oops, sorry. Keep change here. And then we get into hand changes. Now, the way you do hand changes, well, I can just do this. So from here, do the normal pata, which is that one, and then that one, and then the back, yeah, and then, yeah, exactly, yeah, it pulls, it pushes forward, yeah, right, see how much power you get in that? He's not even trying to hit me, pow, and that's actually a pull, right, but man, I'm changing, see that soft hand grip, yeah, this hand's hard, Manipulating that accent. Here, I then hold it, drive it into my opponent. Or, if I need more range, I can push it. The range change? Here, two, three, here. Okay. Alright? The other one is here. Yeah, so, so if you're, you're here, bang, bang, pull it out this way. Yeah. The, uh, the sweep. Is also a good one to to practice with with the kata. You know, if you can time your opponent right, sword and shield guy especially, but even this. So you come in, go to hit me in the head. Yeah, right there. See that lock? I just kill him. Okay. It's just that sweep, it's that bottom sweep. to strike at my opponent from range, and I say I got a really good sword and shield guy, a quarantine guy who's gonna let me down. So pretend you're that guy. Huh. Okay, so go ahead. Pretend you're good. So I'm probably gonna change here and strike at this yeah. guy. Right, if you didn't make that block, it just killed him. Okay, that brings up another good point. And, and, I, and that was all before he got in range. Because the strike is here. that in a minute. More of it. But. So, we got to practice this first, this inside fight. You don't practice the inside fight and how that works. You know, you're never going to use the it's axe like in the fashion that's appropriate to, to its advantage. So, fight it inside first. And you can cut it down if you want. If it's really getting in your way, in half, short it up. You pretend it's a 14th century you know, heavy, heavy cutting plate mail axe. It's only about that tall. Okay? That works fine. I've with one of those for years. Two ties. Yeah, okay. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, this is only about like that. Yeah. So now, my normal guard, because I have this extra range against an opponent, it's got to be out here. Obviously not the fulcrum point, 
but again, I know how to use that. So if I shift my hand up, as he's inside, right? bang, pop, sweep, change. Right? So to go from close range to long range is a change, not high to low. Uh, I mean, left hand high to right hand high or opposite. But it's, it's from here, strike. I step back, change it. See that slide? Change. Oh. It's okay. Right? And if I'm going to go for the, the next long one, I'm not going to try to manipulate the weight of that axe like it's a bat. Okay? I'm going to pull it to me, change up, and then slide down. Like <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay? <laughs> to change hands, practice. My balance are like his. Slide bottom hand to the, to the, to the right hand. Okay. To change which hand is on top. Yeah. Okay? Put it wherever you are in the balance point. That hand comes up. Nice. You're always keeping your hand on that point. That's how he gets a good drill to do. That's a good. Yeah. Okay. Start out the day with. No. I suck. Okay. <laughs> so right hand, right hand, right. Okay. So drive your hand, bottom hand here. As this, yeah, you're doing it naturally. Yeah. And then turn. Whether you extend over and slide for that range, or just cutting close. Bear just wanted to get in the video. Okay. <laughs> That full arm, full arm example. That's, that's the, the kata, the practice is slide. It naturally does that. Yeah, right. Okay. It'd be awesome to see like five of them all grouped up together. Depends if you're on that side. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, it would look cool on this side. Kind of reminding me of the Army of Darkness moment. Yeah. Ooh, that's the other ah, one. That's the hard one. Yeah. A, I'll show you that in a minute. That's why I wanted you guys without helmets on, because this is a lot to show you. When you can't yeah, see it. Or, or it can just stay there, right? right? Here, cut. Right? Because the next one I'm going to show you is going to be here. So, let, me, let me show you. I'm going to come forward, change. So I can do that. <laughs> Slide your back, the bottom hand up to your front hand. Yeah, you're going right over. It's gonna be so awesome footage. Okay, so slide. It's gonna be a good mentoring tool. And go. Yeah. I'll throw it up on my YouTube and use it for the SCA. Cut. Yep. For Indiana. a group. Slide, change, cut. Yep. And again, if you get the, the circular on the bottom, you get a flow. Right. One of the things I think that helped me with doing that is actually learning to almost like a kata again putting my hands close together and doing what Sir Michael called throwing the boat. Because this gets you into the habit of, of going from here. Come back. You're absolutely right. I, and I, didn't, I didn't know how much time I would have for this class. Yeah. <laughs> but so part of the depth of really wanting to learn all this stuff is just get a five, six foot piece of tan, oak staff, whatever, and start by learning, teaching yourself these, okay? So that's teaching what ends up being, this is gonna be the bottom hand for that strike, right? So that gets you into understanding how all that works. So you start here, and then you start to manipulate it here. So here, you see these. Here, 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 here. Can't do that in the SCA, but it's cool. <laughs> okay, and then you start doing these. Okay, and then you can start doing hand changes. Even if I'm just, see how I'm rolling them? See how that soft hand is rolling that weapon? Strike, so it's a quarter staff. Strike, 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 pop, strike, here, here. Okay, <laughs> so using that, you start to get that. That comes out, you're like, you do that? Well. <laughs> you're gonna get it or not pretty quick. Because the neat meaning as you learn, is like I see you picking that up quick. It's not gonna let you do it. Okay, so that's good. I don't like doing it like this because I never and want now my you hands. you don't have strength. Uh -huh. Yeah, 
Yeah, but but this is a cool. You know, it looks cool. cool. It's pretty. You know, yeah, just to get the, the, the hand motion because if you can get in there and, and quickly turn here, there it is. Just I've done that with a katana before, Brad. Yeah. The big key, woo, though, guys. Woo, woo. He's the Highlander. <laughs> get comfortable with the weapon, and you don't get comfortable with the weapon when you're just trying to fight somebody. Good point. Practice, homework. We talk about katas. Katas are drills to teach you technique and form to then take what you understand as proper technique. This is any kata or form drill in the sparring. <coughs> start to apply it quickly understanding that that application is not oh I see the bear looks open for kata B I'm going to try using kata B it's more a no mind of oh it's open and then you hit him and you go oh that's because I'm so used to doing that brand of kata snap <laughs> snap that I just did it understand second nature turn cut straight down cut look at the void Right to it. Wait, I gotta go home and get my balloons. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if, if you're ever doing any pole arm fighting, see your ballista and I raise you a treble Like, this is sort of an aside to the class, but you kind of get into this. See, with the axe, okay, I'm not going to screw around with this kind of thing. If, if my opponent actually lets me get here, I'm going to use that beard, pull it down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and hit him. Yeah. But I'm going to use that. Yeah. And if you have two bearded axes fighting, yeah, that's happens, I happens a lot. You go, I make, he makes Bang. a block, and then just inadvertently one of them pulls. Now, how do you get out of that? You hit it with the dressing tip. No. <laughs> no, because he's just going to avoid it, right? Okay. I'm going to turn into it like I would a spin, pull it out, okay, so he's still cutting it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got to go with him instead of against. <laughs> okay? Now sometimes you might, I might pull it a little bit, so when he pulls, <laughs> that's, that's the release. Okay. Notice that they're both wearing white belts. So, yeah. they're, they're nice. when you're close to your opponent, and you're doing this. Most pole arm fighters are going to try and do this. Yeah. Yeah. And now you can. And, and that's fine. Especially if you're fighting pole to pole. Because if he puts that thing up there, I go in, in the inside. And either cut here, in here, toss here, grab that. Ah. <laughs> okay. You weren't expecting me to block, right? <laughs> <laughs> but that gets to another quick lesson about pole fighting. Is that when you get into that pulling pushing thing. Meaning, meaning I'm here, and you go, I hit you like Brandon, and you let go when you grab my, my weapon. Right? Okay? Sure, I could do the too, stick, too long stick dance of doom, which is trying to grab this. And you get, oh, I hope the Marshall calls hold. Because <laughs> this is really silly for me and him, too. Right? I, I'm going to, he grabs it. Okay, now, bear in mind, you do not want to ever... No, there's a bear right here. On purpose or inadvertently <laughs> hurt your opponent. This but is where you flip them. Throw, throw them back. <laughs> <laughs> Hip there. check. No, I'm actually going to disallow him to keep holding it. And most people would say twist it here. But he's got that much range in his arm. But if I rotate yeah. my body. And at that point, I'm hoping the marshal calls hold. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, but the point is, is if your opponent grabs your, your, the haft of your weapon, he's actually doing himself a disfavor. Yeah. If you remember to use your body to negate it. If, if I, if, if, even if he's a smaller guy than me, and Bear by no means is, but if I try to do this, he lets go, and as I stumble back, he he's grabs back. his sword and hits me. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, or I don't go anywhere because he doesn't let me. Right? Okay? But I and I can also turn it this way, right? See that? Okay. Well, a couple of different places. I can either rotate it here. Well first I'm gonna rip it out here. Or I'm gonna do that. Or I'm gonna rotate here. And that's what kind of footwork was that? That's pivoting on that foot, right? That's all that inside fight. If you're not using your pivots and your hips, 
and you're trying to just do something like this, you're not you're not doing it. Okay? Or these ones, I hate these. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Well, that, that, there's also the straight in cut, which is very similar to that back one, which was the angle. You just come in here, you come in here, drop it straight in, straight in, cut it an arm. Okay. You want to try to avoid anything that's below a hip. Yeah, I mean, because the weight of the axe is also going to pull it down a lot to throw those out. But you end up your your even if you get the leg and you may and you may not but generally speaking you didn't get a kill and you just open yourself up to that and the yeah. other thing is is that the axe head is the only striking surface so if he goes to throw so that miss and he steps and I in. step in right yeah yep. now that shot's wasted yep right. <laughs> right. Slide in but there. with the axe saw that didn't and the pull on the same way kill on that shoulder head shoulder body hip a lot of guys don't think hip, right there. That's a kill with an axe. It's a kill with a single-handed axe. Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's why I'm, I'm going to uh, axe this soon. Let's see. Is that everything I want to show you guys? <coughs> Everybody kind of get kind of an idea of what I'm showing here. It's not something you got to pick up right away, but then you guys that fight pole arm start thinking about that rotation and that bottom hand snap. Okay. I can be here, right? Pow, pow, right? Okay, the devastating force in that, because I'm still using my hips. And that snap. If you just use your hips. This lamb order is awesome. If you, if you just use your hips and don't put the snap of the bottom hand in, it'll be light. Because what happens is just put your weapon out like this. Just do this, okay? See how it kind of hits, but it's not, it's not that. See the difference? You don't have that snap in this. It's gonna, especially, I mean, if it was a real weapon and I'm hitting that hard, it might still concuss my opponent. But in ESCA, it would be softer, you know, kind of padded things that don't even have a clacker. Uh, and I never use clacker, so I never even bother. You're heading back into the city, but like, through the city anyway, right? I want that yeah. snap so it doesn't just go. If, if I give you my goes, keys and that, can you do me a favor? All right, because that's what they're used to. Yeah. Pay the my fact rent. that you're doing that and compressing yeah. a little bit so of there. If I give you my rent money and whatnot, I can just drop off to. my manager. Both of those are enough for me to go. That's good. Oye, oye! Call will be starting at 5.30 over there, I'm guessing. What time is it? I'm guessing. It's quarter after. I don't know. Quarter after. 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 Quill, sword shield. Can't tell you if this would work, but this is what I would try to do. <laughs> well, I would try In a lot. Theory. Wait for him to drop the shield and blast him for no reason. But I would, I would, I would try to set <laughs> him up. Works really well. I would, I would try to set him up to throw a wrap on. You can grab a sword quick. <laughs> There's <laughs> Faster. Yeah, this will help anyway because I want to talk about uh, blocking with the axe. Ah, I feel so much better. <laughs> Calm down, soldier. Oh, right. So, so obviously, if, if I'm good enough to time the block on, on the wrap, I just let him come in. I, I have to turn my body. If I don't turn my body and do this, he's still hitting me. I know that from experience at Baronworth, by the way. Perhaps. Um, from a queen. Because yeah. uh, then but that weapon can, if, if I can time slide it right, down the weapon. I can turn, change it, and cut Bing. the head. Well, there's a whole lot of specialty timing going on in there to make sure all that works. Okay? On the other hand, if I can time it a little more from range, go ahead, and I do this, right? And he's like, oh, crap. And what are you going to do? I can do this. If you back up here, okay? So now I've just naturally created that low point block which we all sort of learn with you know now if you're in the wrong guard <laughs> that's the right handed block <laughs> okay <laughs> and this is an advanced move too okay but anyway blocking with the, the weapon if it was real and I 
for whatever reason didn't have a lingette or a, an iron strip down the blade, at least down here, I mean the haft, I especially wouldn't want to block yeah. a hard block, right? Because it's got to eat Chop up the, right through. the cast. <clears throat> Always bear in mind that no matter what, in my opinion, anybody ever says about, oh, you never, you know, Japanese guys, oh, you never block on the edge. Bullshit. You block wherever you have to to keep from dying. Now, if you can avoid it, great, because that's, you know, that's super cool. And there's a lot of ways to do that. I can be here, right, he throws at my head. I can block it with a push. Okay, get, go ahead again. I can block it with, with, with the axe head, top of the axe head, which, by the way, is steel, so it's not going to destroy that. Probably dull his sword. He'll get all whiny. And, and <laughs> the reason for the, the half, there is an extant pictograph, Byzantine, Varangian Guard, where all the guys in back are holding their, their Danish axes, and every one of them has that much. It just wouldn't half. Uh, there is a Gotlandic hand axe I found in one of the uh, uh, treaties, uh, archaeological treaties, where it's a hand axe, and it has a steel uh, piece of steel sheet, that I, and I think it's even welded. That kind of comes up to it's only about that long on the hand axe, but it comes up to here and it comes down to here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Isn't there some designs of halberds that have like the the spike? The halberd? Yeah. For uh, thrusting? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then, and that if if this was if this was a real Danish axe, I wouldn't have. I have this set up so I can thrust with it here and and, and butt spike with it here. But when I use that, generally, as a purist, I'm using it as if it's a hard wooden half right. where I come up and I might strike real hard at his shield to, to, to mess him up right okay. he backs up well that's my cut okay or I come in right strike at his body this kind of unsettles him a little bit remember okay. if you don't have that thrusting tip you can't throw you right yeah if you don't have the padding on it you can't do that no matter what yeah. you're really even even on a shield you're not supposed to you're still supposed to have a, yeah. a tip and the same thing goes with this now in the SCA, every once in a while, I get really tired and I, you know, <laughs> right? And then you, you, let, you let your opponent walk off while you're going, thank God. Because yeah. <laughs> uh, this is an advanced form. It's very fun. Uh, I've been doing Danish war acts and stuff I'm showing you. I've learned a lot of this over 20 years. Okay, so when you start into it, first thing, that fulcrum point, this and this. Okay, you can get this and that, right, and this golden okay and then the hand changes pole arm long pole arm you know I come in i do a c shot I'm, this is now a seven and a half a pole arm right okay seven anybody got a seven and a half a pole arm we got a long one i got a long one also manipulation with the head of my axe so you go ahead and do a cut jj's gonna pull his long one <laughs> again huh. slow motion i can do that full speed a lot harder <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So. That's a huge bitch. So obviously we're doing this. I come up here. I can still do this. If he crowds me, really good. Then I can't. And that's probably what he should do. Okay. But if I'm here and I do the C shot as he's coming in and he blocks it, I step out. Right. He keeps coming. I change. I go for the leg and hope <laughs> hope that I I've hit something. You feel where he gets on top of me, or I finally get to the list. You know, most guys will get to the edge of the list, and they'll go here, right? And any good sword shield fighter is ready for that. Doesn't mean they don't get him every once in a while. Cause some some guys are really good at doing that. Okay, but I get to the edge. If I change, I do that. Excellent hit, good. <laughs> If you're fighting your snake. With my axe. <laughs> you're good without the glass. So now if I'm if I'm fighting another pole arm or an axeman and he goes to cut my head, I want a block on my haft, right? Okay. I can manipulate it with, with my axe in some ways. But blocking on the half at that point is more than sufficient. <clears throat> the other thing you can do if you have good solid arm harness, like good Duke William does, mine's 
I, I usually like fighting heavier gear than this for an axe, but so I come up here and I block with my arm on the half, mm. on, a on a good steel arm, and while that's occurring, I'm killing him because I haven't used my weapon at all, and now is in that sort of transition stage of trying to disengage or a one-two timing. It's now more of a one timing. You know, even if I throw it out here. Okay. Again, advanced stuff, and usually you don't learn that until you're like, oh crap, you throw up your arm and it hits him, and you're like, hey, I'm still alive. That's awesome. And then you start thinking about stuff you can do, sweeps of that, that nature. You can do this, you know, come in, right? You can do that too. I'll, you know, I'm allowed to do that, and if it's a half, I can even do that now. <laughs> do I want to do that? No, because then it's hard to kill this. Punch but it in. I can, I can push it down, change it back up, hit him with Some shoulder. people do. While he's backing up, trying to get away. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, thanks, guys. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think, Axe? Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> I'll sneak up on people. As I said, you're even more dangerous now. <laughs> <laughs>